Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saki here, and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. And when we last left off, Ol' Shen decided she wanted to check out the cat litter on the outside of that turn and finished dead last. Falco had a spirited run with Lars Olin, but he got the fastest lap, so we gained a point. We are one point out of the Drivers' Championship with two races to go. We have Portugal and uh, the UK. And Tondela in Portugal looks like it may rain in practice sunny for the race. The tire wear here is high, so that tells me that medium tires are going to be the way to go. Crucial acceleration, useful top speed, and brakes. So, we are getting ready for this last little stint. Mechanics are complaining about what? They don't have any work to do? They're not happy working in the factory. They do have quite long hours. Dude, they haven't had any parts. A bonus, $500,000, both mechanics relationships plus 25, or a minus five for the mechanics. All right, so let's see here. Well, is that with the drivers? I think we can just do minus five with the drivers. We don't have the money to spend on them. Not really. I mean, it's, we're down to like, we could afford to run one more race. You know what? I'm feeling charitable. $500,000. Read them and weep. There you go. Suck on them apples. Can't believe they were complaining. But we do have sponsor opportunities to do. We'll go ahead and continue on. Part repair is complete. So both cars are ready to go. Let's take a look at our pit crew. Ouch, it looks like uh, Nishimaru needs a swap, and he is a tire guy. So he is needed here and here. Let's go ahead and swap him with Shichi. He's got a little bit under him. He hasn't made any mistakes yet. He's a decent tire changer and refueler. We, weren't, we won't worry about hiring until the offseason when we'll take a, 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 a good look at all of these pit crew members here. So we'll continue on. A politics vote for a long practice session. Actually, I think I'm fine abstaining, uh, saving the vote. I can get done what I want to get done during practice. That's fine. I'll just abstain, and we'll see if longer practice is a thing next year, and it is not. We will have the same amount of practice next year, which doesn't affect you, the viewer, but we can still get done what we want to get done. Two offers of pop for our sponsors. Let's go ahead and get through this race here. Check the sponsors. All right. Slot three is full. So this is going to be for first place or second. We're not going to get second, but Ishikawa will give us $1 million for an upfront payment. Five races. We'll go ahead and take that. There's the million. We can afford to run next race. We'll wait for our third offer to come through in slot five. Oscar Diaz looking to retire. Don't care. Now what? Oh, is it the race? Yeah, it's the race. The GT Championship also has two races to go after this. Hashimoto, good job. Don't care. Continue on. All right, the She Collection. What is that? Goes down a, down a storm. All right, Saka has approached some time ago about designing for the Italian label La Roca, and yesterday was her walk down the catwalk. Marketability for 20 weeks. Holy crap, I think she was already good in the marketability front, but that is just incredible. 100% everything. If only we had that helipad unlocked, we could get five-star sponsors right now. Hey, for being four-star potential, we don't have any of this stuff. So six or better for three races, 300 grand up front, 700,000 per race if we finished in sixth. That certainly is doable and definitely not bad. It's more income per race and it's shorter, so we don't have to hold on to Ambrosia for long. But the upfront payment is nice. For, a, for the same thing, it's 50000 less. It's a better upfront payment, but we have to do four more races with them on us. Hmm. I was hoping for something a little bit bigger to build the part with. 
but I think we can make 700 grand for sixth. That seems doable. I'll go ahead and accept that offer and that will be the sponsor we go with. So $2 million. We're gonna lose 1 million at the race, but I think we can make that sponsor objective. We're better than our target. That's good to go. So that will get us set up, I think, for Tondela. Do we build the part now? I think so. Could you review our pit route? They're okay, but few teams are better with their pit times. Mull it over. We will. So if we build a part now, what is our car lacking the most of? Suspension. The medium speed corners. We can look at the tracks and see where medium speed corners are crucial. There's two. There's three. Only three tracks out of our whole group are crucial for medium speed corners. I think it's more worthwhile to do a gearbox or an engine. In every one of these, it's like engine gearbox, engine gearbox, engine gearbox. So let's see if we can design an engine or a gearbox. We know good engines, we know great gearboxes. I think that's the way to go. We will make a great gearbox. We'll break all the rules because we are not, <clears throat> excuse me, we are not putting this on the car. So acceleration plus 25 or 25 to max. We want two max. Acceleration plus 35 with the red zone. Acceleration plus 40. That's actually better. We'll do that. And then reliability, acceleration on softs, supers and ultras, acceleration 50 on wets and enters. We do softs, but we don't have supers and ultras, unfortunately. And I don't care about the reliability, if I'm honest. Man, this sucks. Can we get a better engine out of the thing? 25 to max, top speed plus 15, oh yes please. And then top speed plus 50, risk level one. Oh, that'll be nice, a 308 engine. Considering what we have on the car right now in the engine department, we're at 243. So that engine that we can build here with the 25 to max plus the 15 top speed, and then the top speed plus 50, that'll be a 308 engine. That will be nice to carry over. $1.1 million, unfortunately. We'll go into the red a little bit, but I want to make sure that we have this engine all set for next year. So we'll build that. We've got 17 days. We'll work on that. As soon as that's done, we will put our crew on it, ready to go 14 days, so two weeks. I think that's enough time to get that done and on the car. So we're running a little bit into the red here. But if I can get this sponsor objective, we won't be losing so much money. So I'm going to take this sixth or better. We're only going to lose 400000 if we can make that. So I'll go ahead and get to Portugal, practice, and see you for the race. Welcome back to sunny Portugal. And sunny for the race was not practice for sure. Practice was rainy the entire time. We could not even get one lap on slicks. So, and, and no one else did either, which is good. It puts us on an even keel. They're not going to get their bonus. We did max out race trim, and I decided to go for Falco wearing soft tires more slowly. And for Shen, I have her engine expert, so she can push without damaging the engine. Uh, the setups are looking good, one excellent and two greats per driver. And since Shin can do that without hurting the engine, I'll burn and see if she can get it. But starting 19th and 3rd, 180 performance, we need 6th or above for $700,000. Everyone around Shin is on the super softs, but I mean, Shin's tire wear, we know. <laughs> it is legendary that Shin's tire wear is absolute garbage, so hopefully Shin can maintain one went wide outstanding that's good and uh this race seems to be going pretty quick even at two times speed it's looking like these cars are flying seventh is where we need to be as long as shen can hold pace here which i mean she's not going to uh, but we need to get some heat in these tires the wear is definitely going to play a factor and i think last time here at portugal we had a decent enough run 
but Falco just needs to pick and choose his way. Probably pit stops are going to define where Falco is going to be. He's back there amongst all the other soft tires as well. And it looks as if uh, the temperatures in these tires are not going to, uh, to build up very quickly. Looking at the temperature, it's only 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So a pretty chilly day. Um, that's gonna help tire wear, but the track itself looks pretty abrasive in the grand scheme of things. So that could be where the tire wear is getting chewed up. Now Shin is getting past left and right. She doesn't have the car. We're waiting on Falco. Oh, nice, Shin is wanting some revenge. And I don't know what's gotten into Falco here lately, but his form has been absolute garbage. Safety car. Safety car, safety car. I mean, we might as well. We have the extra tires, but do we have the overtaking ability? Let's see here. We've got five sets left. Each one can do 13 laps, so we can pit. I mean, do we gamble, take the take the, the safety car pit stop, get caught up, hope the rest of these guys pit too. Maybe we can sneak out a quick, quick pit stop with some fresh tires, especially with Shen. She burns through tires like crazy. I'm thinking this sort of like a Darlington in NASCAR where anytime you can pit, you pit. So we're definitely going to put some tires on Shen. Uh, the tires can last 11 to 13, so we'll just top off just a bit. Park condition is fine. She's at max. Pit strategy, so an eight-second pit stop. We're not going to risk a fast pit stop here. And we may stack them so Falco can get some extra pit as well. Or do we leave Falco out to try to leapfrog the field? Tell you what, if no one comes down, the next time by, I'll pit Falco. And then if everyone comes down, I'll keep Falco out. That seems to be a legitimate strategy. Let's go ahead and go low on the burn. Shen down and away, fresh tires here. It looks like a few cars did pit, and Falco is up in 12th. Now, there are only two cars behind him with... Uh, Shen, you can go ahead and tune down your, your strategy there. It looks like only two cars behind him did not pit, so we may get run over by these four cars here. But Falco is not in the greatest of mindsets, so I think we should be okay. Let's keep some heat in these tires just a bit. Let's see where what Falco can do from 12th. I mean, everyone around us is having difficulty. He's got more than enough fuel uh, to go the distance. So the safety car is heading to the garage this time. Right before uh, we come back around, we'll go ahead and boost. Prepare for the jump to hyperspace here. Let's go ahead and turn up the tire temperature for Shen a bit. We can put her in high overtake mode to get ready for the start. Same thing for Falco. We're just going to go for broke here on the start. And nice how it unpaused there once we took green. There goes Falco. Yes, you can get by and you did. Falco is a hero now. So Shen should be fighting hard. And we've got the leaders right in front of us here with Falco. And his tires are going to be wearing less than all these soft tires around him. So we're within spitting distance of that sponsor objective and he's got the inside line. Let's see if he can power by, he can indeed. Gets himself set up nicely for the next turn, power down the straight. Falco is making a race of it now. That's what I like to see for sure. Hopefully staying out didn't uh, mess up our pit strategy, but we're on the same strategy as these leaders and we are just as fast. All right, let's go do a high burn because we don't have the uh, we don't have the car condition to spare with Falco like we do for Shen. We're losing a little bit there, but I mean not bad. Shen is holding her own up in 12th. This is a nice mid-table run. Falco is around all of these guys with blistered soft tires, so he should have more grip theoretically than these guys who are burning their tires off. It would be nice if these guys all pitted. 
around him. But yeah, he is on the same strategy here, 2.6 sec seconds off the lead. And now you're, over, you're struggling to overtake because you're not in the racing line there, Falco. All right, everything is still looking okay for that sponsor objective. We're still on the same pit strategy as the leader. Oh, and he was cut off bad right there. If I was Falco, I would have dumped him. I mean, that, that was terrible. All right. Let's tone down Shen a bit on her engine power. She's got a pit in about four laps, so that will put us at lap 13 or so. We'll keep an eye on it for sure. Uh, so Shen will definitely be the first to pit. We'll leave Falco out for a bit. I think he needs to conserve his tires just a touch, and we want to make sure he has more than enough fuel uh, that Shen is not in on pit road whenever he comes. But this is just a travesty. I mean, Falco is in three current form out of ten. At least Shen is feeling this race more than Falco, and Falco's up here fighting for the lead. Falco actually brake checked and slowed Shen down. That is a shame. So I tell you what, it looks like Falco needs to come in before Shen. So I'll go ahead and push Falco as hard as I can. We'll keep Shen on a conservation mode. And then next time by, we'll pit Falco for these soft tires. Right, here we go. Push them hard there, Falco. We'll put a new set of softs on you. These tires last 13 to 15 laps. So we'll put 13 in the tank. Park condition is fine. Don't need a battery recharge. Go ahead and pit. And we are going to push Falco for all he's worth here. Shen will be pitting next time by. Hopefully Falco can squeeze some speed out of this, but he's just getting blocked by these slower cars, and Lars is up there in third laughing at us like it's going out of style. Come on, Falco, you need to make the most of this. All these other cars are pitting around Falco. That's fine. Shen, there you go. Pit next time by for softs. Tire choice, 0.72. We'll fill up to 11 laps or so. That should be fine. Parts are looking great. 16 second pit stop. And we'll keep Shin on a conservative uh, sort of go here. So refueling is complete. Down and away, Falco is ready to go. Let's push everything we can out of him. And hope for the best. It looks like Shin is actually our best uh, our best here to achieve that sponsor objective. Push as hard as you can there, Shen. Come down pit road. Outstanding. She should come for four tires and fuel. Tires are on. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Fueling is terrible. I think in the last race, I may try to keep this car as full as possible. That way we don't have to wait on fuel. That seems to be a legitimate strategy here. So it's time for Falco to do his best here. We're not even halfway through the race, so we'll have to manage these tires, see what uh, Falco can give us here. Some cars are on pit road. We're going to try to slingshot past them, and we can't do it. Or did we? No, I thought I saw some cars on pit road, but I don't see a tire change, which is interesting. I don't know if... They topped off for fuel or whatnot. Let's just do a neutral push here. 17 laps to go. Leader is on pit road. Here comes Falco. Hopefully we can get an undercut of some sort. There we go, making passes. 15th now, 16th for Shen. Team cars are right next to one another and our soft tires are holding up a whole lot better than theirs. And unfortunately, rolling roadblock. I know it felt good. There you go, Falco. Leave these guys in the dust, man. You are faster than them. Don't give them the inside line. Go for it. So we've got more leaders on pit road. We should pass them handily. We're up to 10th. Guys in front of us are on about the same tire strategy. We're 13 seconds down off the leader, though. So seven laps in Shen's tank. Nine laps in Falco's, so Shen should be the next uh, person to pit. 
Come on, Falco, hold station. See, Falco's starting to come back. His uh, pace is starting to pick up. He's starting to feel better. And I think that's where maybe the fitness comes in, that um, he actually is a slow starter. And then as the race gets going, he settles into a rhythm and he just gets faster and faster, which is good for us. Let's go ahead and push. Falco, you can, or Shen, you can go to neutral. We want to uh, keep some heat in these tires if we can. So if we can make these tires last five more laps, that will put us at lap 24. So we will be in the one stop category for sure. So Falco, I'm gonna leave out as much as possible. If we can get Falco in a soft range, a super soft range, that would be really excellent because we don't have bonuses for or against uh, the super soft tires versus the soft tires. So if we can squeeze this stent long enough and stay within striking distance for Falco, uh, we can come down, just put a little bit of fuel in and do super softs. And then we can really push Falco uh, for everything he's worth. So that is the strategy for now. We want to keep Shin out as long as we can. Her tires are really starting to fall off here. She may drop back a bit. Guys on soft tires have pitted. We're going to come in seventh place and we're right here with this group of guys that we are fighting on our pit strategy. These are the guys that we need to keep in our sights and possibly pass. All right, so Shen, next time by, I'm gonna have you push as hard as you possibly can uh, this lap, if you please, and we'll come down next time by. There we go. So Shen, you will get your last set of softs and we're gonna put in enough fuel to make the race. Definitely not 15, maybe 11. That way we can afford to push just a little bit. And there we go. So Shen is all set up for her pit stop and she is gonna be pushing hard uh, to try to close this gap. Falco, however, I think we can turn up his engine and uh, we can go a few more laps. Yeah, we, we can afford to run Falco a little bit hotter. So Shen is going to burn everything she's got here and come down pit road. Falco, you can actually go a few more laps. We want to try to get um, into super soft territory. That would be ideal for us, I think. All right, Shen is down in a way you don't need to burn and just push for now. Yes, you can get past Stephenson. So we're coming to, yeah, we're, we're within the attack zone. Go ahead and attack this time. And pit this time around. So 11 laps to go. I think we are in super soft territory. Now these last longer, but I think Falco will be able to run harder. So let's do 10 laps in the tank. And pit. Run as hard as you can, Falco. Get this gap as high as you possibly can. Extend this gap. It'd be awesome if you ran your fastest laps of the race here there, Falco. I'm just saying. Push it. Push as hard as you can. Push it real good. Olin is probably going to pass us, but his tires are going to be junk. So we may be able to catch him up. A mistake on the left rear. Come on, guys. Well, that may screw our sixth and above. We are going to have to go for broke. Which one of you guys messed up my tires? That is indeed a good question. We'll keep him in high attack mode. We do have excess fuel, and we are going to be pushing these tires as much as we can. Now, Shen should be able to to come around let's keep her on a neutral we'll see if we can pass as many cars as possible we're not that far off the sponsor objective Antonov has run his fastest lap of the race we're coming to six to go this time by and I think we have got the tires to do it uh, Paris is going to be on old tires we've got a cluster in front of us here for position 
So, I mean, this is going to be catbird seat if Falco can pounce. Get motivated, Falco. This is where you are going to shine, good old son. All right, let's go to neutral. We don't want him to burn up his soft tires off just yet. Yes, you can get past Paris. Use that push to go button. Use everything you've got in your power. Get to his inside, Falco. Make it, make it work. Make it stick. You've got this, man. Don't dally behind him. There you go. Punch the inside. Boost. Push the boost button. There you go. Block him. So that boost was worthless for that eighth place guy, which is good to see. We're one spot behind the sponsor objective, and we have plenty of tires to push if need be. How's park condition? Park condition is fine. We'll keep it right there where we are. All right, Shen, you can go ahead and push a little bit. I like the fact that Falco's soft, super softs are doing better than Shen's regular softs. And if any of these guys in front of us have to pit, uh, we are going to pounce very well. We're coming to three laps to go, so it's not go time quite yet. I think I'll go for broke at two laps to go. We should have enough tires under us to go for broke at two laps to go. So we're, we're aiming for this guy. His soft tires are worn out and not as good as our super softs. We're conserving. We're, we're mining our P's and Q's. We're not burning him up quite yet. He is all over that back bumper. It would be nice if you got around him, Falco, instead of playing tiddlywinks. Get around him now. Man, use the, bo use the boost, man. There you go, get around him for crying out loud. You wasted a lot of time there, old son. But coming around to two laps to go, now it's go time. Overtake and push. Everything you got. And poor Shen, she's holding on to a 13th. We're gonna need to conserve these tires a bit. Hopefully she doesn't get past. She's fighting amongst a bunch of people on blistered tires, so she will be okay, I think. But Falco is going to go for broke here. The leaders have taken one lap to go, and we are going to push everything we've got out of these tires and out of this engine. We're great on fuel. That was his fastest third sector. Can we squeeze a fourth place out of this? I think we may be able to. Falco, go, man, go. Shen should be fine to make it around. For a 13th place, we can go ahead and keep her pushing. So the race is over and Falco will hit that sponsor objective, melting those tires. He was within a stone's throw of fourth. I mean, with that rear tire mistake, we could have easily had fourth, maybe not a podium, but Shen finished the race in 13th. That's all I can ask. A solid drive for us, but Lars Olin won the race because of course he did. Why wouldn't he? The guy never makes a mistake. But this has me concerned. I mean, Falco is in terrible form. Why? Come on, you're the number one driver, man. We need you to be good. So the game is saving as per usual. I think we got the strategy bang on. I'm pretty happy with that. Falco is on really the next to last, you know, shortest stint. Tanaka, that was pointless, really. That allowed us to pass him, but a fifth place... Not bad for us. Of course, we didn't break any rules because we're not rule breakers. Did anyone in front of us break a rule? No, they didn't. And fastest lap didn't go to uh, Olin, but that hurts. Olin winning the race. But did Shen? Six places, so Shen actually finished 11th. And we met the sponsor objective. Outstanding. Falco is now five points going into the final race. We need Lars to crash. If he crashes and Falco doesn't, we're champions. We're still solidly in fifth. We need to make up 12 points behind Marshall if we want to leap up, but we are within our objective. We are pleased with that strong result. So the chairman should be fairly happy. I am fairly happy. There is one race to go next week, ladies and gentlemen. Our one motorsport manager video will be the season finale. And then the week after that, we'll be um, getting our, our staff in order, seeing what happens, all that good stuff. Shen's morale improved with that decent run. 
it's good to see uh, some improvement there. Her consistency really needs some work. Her smoothness really needs some work. Maybe next season we can build something to improve the consistency and smoothness. Chairman, of course, is happy. We came fourth. Outstanding. Only 400 grand down. So that is outstanding. Hopefully we can sign on a sponsor. I don't remember if there are any sponsors available for us here. No. So we are not going to make any money without uh, the without like a random mail where all of a sudden someone peddles some uh, some money. We do have an interview. All right, Eva Blasi. Sure, who wouldn't want Eva Blasi? I mean, she's good. $1.3 million, though. Oof. That, that, that hurts. Pit crew review. We had one mistake. Luckily, it wasn't particularly dangerous. I've conducted an AAR with Sichi, but feel free to take manners into your own hands. And this was the guy that we just put in. Dude, you are absolute garbage. We need a good refueler. Nakasuji, you are in, man. Siji, you're going to sit this one out. I don't know what got into you, but you suck. Definitely looking forward to scouting some pit crew in the offseason, but, I mean, it doesn't look like these guys are any better. <laughs> I mean, we have, based on, like, the numbers, a really solid pit crew. I'm pretty happy with that. We need their stamina up, though. I don't know if we can condition these guys to be better. But the car, we are 11 days away from that new engine. Uh, we have the race in 24 days. So that will give us plenty of time to work on that engine. And then as soon as we're done with Guilford, we'll put that engine on uh, Falco's car and carry it over to the next season. We'll, we'll just focus on building exclusively that engine. We may go negative um, the last race of the season, <laughs> but it's not going to be bad. Essentially, uh, we'll get our money back in the, um, the end of series uh, finances and all that good stuff, so I'm not worried. And after Guilford, we can sign another sponsor. So maybe uh, we can sign a sponsor quick right after that race so the chairman's all like, oh, you've got blah, 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 negative resources, blah. We've got slot two opening up after the race. And then two races here, three races there, four races there, five races there. So every race for here on out for the next five, we've got sponsor money coming in, which is very comforting. But that's going to do it for me in this episode of Motorsport Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode when we take on the UK in our final race of the season. Take care.